last checked your socials? Let me guess, like two seconds ago, right? I use social media about one or two hours a day. I think, stop scrolling! And then like half an hour later, you're like, you sit on the phone and use it like an hour a day. She's just on her phone all the time. You just don't want to get off your phone. I try to limit myself. <laughs> Social media is a lot, guys. It's everywhere. It's part of who we are, it's part of our lives, and it's part of our futures. And all of that means we have really got to understand how to use it. And most importantly, understand how it makes us feel. You just lose track of time. Yeah, that's a good one. It might really hurt you and make you feel upset and upset and like um, negative all the time. Maybe like sometimes you can get stuff that maybe people your age aren't supposed to see. Okay, here are the stats. Some of us will start accessing social media sites as young as six. And almost every single Australian has a social media page of some kind. Social media can be a super fun time. Sharing stuff, liking stuff, showing off who you are. But with great social power comes great responsibility. Today, T-Dub, along with Kids Helpline, is breaking it down for us. So, let's do this. What do you have more to learn today? Because social media is actually something that's really, really great. It's a great place to connect with people, um, a great place to chat to friends, and get a sense of belonging with the people around us. It's also a great place that we can express ourselves. Find out. Hands up if you currently have social media. Oh, lots of hands. Really digging in and putting socials under the magnifying glass is a big job. So Amanda and Brooke are on board to help facilitate. Starting with the three seeds. Do you have to be critical and know that sometimes stuff will be fake? And this actually happens a lot on social media. People position things, edit things, filter things. Maybe they Photoshop it a little bit. There's a lot that happens on social media that we might not always see. And this is why we've got to be really, really critical by what we're seeing. And I would like you to decide whether these photos that I show you are hot dogs or Hands up if you think these are legs. Oh, a couple of hands. And the final one, hands up for hot dogs. They were all hot dogs. Every one of those photos. And I want to find out though, what do you think that the person taking the photo did to make those hot dogs look like legs? What did they do to those photos? They could have put the camera at a certain so it looks like their legs instead of hot dogs. We can sometimes unfairly compare ourselves to what we're seeing online. And this is why we've got to be critical. We've really got to ask those hard questions, be that detective. Because I'm only seeing a tiny snapshot of that person's whole life. I'm only seeing what they want me to see. And sometimes we can unfairly compare just that little bit to our whole lives. of when people might be conning you. Because we might not even realise it, but social media is actually impacting us in a few different ways. It might impact us in a positive way and maybe a negative way sometimes, depending how we're using it. Oh, yeah. You might use it longer than you should. When we actually put up a photo or put up our video, in the terms and conditions, they, some of them have in the fine print that once we put up a video or a photo, that they actually own that and they can use it for advertising. So we might not always know what happens to our photos or videos. That's why it's really good to be careful. You do have to be in control of how much time you spend on social media. I know that sometimes we might feel totally in control of our social media time. But sometimes it can also feel like social media is controlling us. 
You might be sitting on the lounge and then like you, your mum or your dad asks you, oh, can you um, do the dishes? And you're like, oh, I'll just be a minute because I'm on my phone. And then like half an hour later, you're like, you sit on the phone and they keep nagging you to do your dishes, but you just don't want to get off the phone. What are some choices we could make to take our social media control back? How can we be in control? You could take control by like before you start using social media or something. You can like have a time that you you're gonna stop and you set an alarm so that you don't just keep going on forever and ever. So great ideas, everyone! You all deserve some big high fives again. Here they come! <laughs> Good job. The big takeaways from today: Well, social media is fun. It's pretty complex and it can potentially take over a bit. So, what is the plan, team? in control. Sounds good. And remember, anytime, any reason, Kids Helpline are there to chat about this stuff too.